Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and I wanted to tell you something about 3D Warehouse. When it comes to 3D Warehouse, you're doing it wrong. So 3D Warehouse is a great tool. It's an online repository with literally millions of models available. Uh, we're putting more and more tools into it every day to make it easier to find the exact model you want, check the quality of it. But when it comes to actually using it in your SketchUp workflow, a lot of people out there have some pretty bad habits. We see questions of this kind all the time on the forum. So I wanted to kind of touch on how to get the most out of 3D Warehouse and what you can do to use it as best as possible. Let's dive in. Okay, so right here, I have a model I'm working on. It's the house. And uh, what I want is I want to throw a car in the driveway. That's what I'm looking for. So I could model a car from scratch, but rather than spend hours, days, weeks doing that, uh, that's a perfect opportunity to just go grab something off 3D Warehouse. So you can browse 3D Warehouse through a browser, or you can just open it up right from within SketchUp. Um, so there's advantages to both. It is pretty convenient to just pull up 3D Warehouse with a click of a button and never have to leave SketchUp. This is nice. Um, if I go back home, this is going to show me the front page. Uh, the front page is just kind of, if, if there's if you're looking for nothing in particular, just kind of see what's up here. The front page is really nice. Uh, it does have, you know, some curated collections right now. That's SketchUp Labs Live components and uh, some, some cool uh, models that were called out by the community. And then, of course, some featured stuff down here from um, product manufacturers. Most people, when they come in here, though, they go straight for here, straight to the browse window so the the search window um, this is not necessarily a bad thing if you're searching for something from scratch this is an okay way to do it so if if I wanted to look for something like a car and I typed in car and hit search this is probably the first thing I'm doing wrong right is this is such a vague term ideally if you have a part number or product name if there's a kind of car I was looking for that would go a lot further but we can still work with this. When I do a search, it is gonna pop up first in the products. So this, this means this is people who are putting up products. So these are, are their own products that they're putting up here. Um, depending on what you're looking for, products can work well. If I'm just looking for a generic thing, you wanna make sure you switch over to the models tag. So either one of these will work, but this is something people don't necessarily pay attention to. So they say, okay, I'm searching here and I come through here and there's weird stuff that's not, not a car, that kind of thing. You probably looking need to flip over to models if you want a more generic set of community created models. So that's one thing is make sure you keep an eye on that. The other is the sort. So right now I am sorting by relevance. Um, I, I do not honestly don't know off the top of my head what the magic is behind relevance. Um, I think it's a combination of likes and how old the model is and that sort of thing. Uh, if you're looking for the most uh, well rated, let's say that's that's a good way to, to, to say it. Let's go to relevance and we're gonna turn on likes. You can look for what's the newest or what's the most recently updated or if you know a specific author or something like that, but likes is going to sort it by literally how many times people have come in and hit the like button. So you can see when I pull this up though, I'm getting all kinds of stuff. So anything with car in the name or description is coming up here. But you can see here in this first page, there's really only two bottles that even have cars in them. So this brings us to the next thing. What people don't do often enough is use these filters over here at the right. So I use my priority. So I, I set my the order I want to see everything. Now I'm going to come over here to category and choose what I want to see. I want to see transportation models. And specifically, I want to set a subcategory of automobiles. I don't need to see ships or anything else. Automobiles. Now what I'm looking at is community created content sorted the most liked on down that are automobiles they are cars so if i look at this one right here okay this one has almost 450 likes which actually let's talk about that if you use a model and you think it's a good model it takes all of one second to click on the like button here and you know what that just did 
that just made this model pop up a little bit higher on somebody else's list when they're looking for models. So go ahead and as you're browsing, as you're using models, click on like if they're good models, because that's gonna not only make the person who made it feel good, but it's gonna help other community members like yourself find the best possible uh, models when they're searching. So the other thing, depending on your needs, these sliders right here are super helpful. How big of a file do I want? How many polygons do I want? I'm not, I'm not really, it's not killing me. I don't have to have models of a certain size. So I'm not gonna mess with that on this one. But uh, if I was concerned about performance, something like that, I might say, okay, give me something that's under 20K and it will update that model or the, the list then. So using these tools is something people fall real short on. They, they just type in a word here and then they click on the first thing that comes up and they think that's what Warehouse has to offer. You're gonna get as much out of your search as you're willing to put into it. All right, now here, this, this is the big one. The biggest thing that people run into and stub their toes on when they use 3D Warehouse. So let's say I, I wanna get an Audi in my car, in my house, not like real life. Um, so I like the look of this Audi right here. Let's go ahead and say I want to download it. Okay, so I'm going to click download. Okay, this brings us to the, the biggest thing that people stub their toe on when they are using 3D Warehouse. And this is download button. When I click download, because I'm running Warehouse through the button inside of SketchUp, I get the option, do I want to download it right into my model? Click OK or not. If I hit no, it's actually going to come up and prompt me where do I want to save the file, not put it directly into the model. This is important because I don't know everything there's to know about this model. This could have tags and scenes and styles and who knows what else loaded in here. It could have hundreds of components and colors. It could clog up my existing model. So generally speaking, unless you know that file's okay, what you want to do is hit no right here. And what no will do is it will say, okay, what do you want to say this as? I'm just going to say this onto my desktop as car, because that's where I, I save stuff temporarily. And that's going to return you to your model. Now what you can do is you can go to file and totally separate from your working model, open, and I can open that file. This gives me the ability to review what I've downloaded before I dump it right into my model. And this is a perfect example why. Look, look what's going on here. So, um, I can already tell I got some weird stuff going on because I have this camera floating here, what looks like lights up here. Uh, these are probably for a rendering engine or something like that that I'm not using because I don't know what they are. So good thing not to have that dumped into my model. If I come over here and look at tags, see I have a whole bunch of extra tags, camera, camera field of view, um, uh, styles. This actually has its own style in here. So. All this stuff, this image, you got a couple images here, this picture of a car and this picture of a backdrop, all this, I, I don't want all this stuff in my model. So by having it here inside of its own model right now, what I can do is I can go find out what do I actually need. And fortunately, this very nicely is grouped all on its own. So that means what I can do is I could actually just cut this right out of this model and drop it into my, my other model. So just to, I mean, just something to think about. If you go to model info, all I'm needing is a piece of entourage, and look, if I pull this in, I'm gonna get a whole lot of geometry, um, lots of components, groups, guides, images, um, more components, materials, tags, styles. Some of the stuff is fine. I mean, I'm gonna have some different materials in here because I have different colored pieces. That's okay. I'm gonna have some components because this is probably not one monolithic model. This is probably pieces. So that's expected but I don't want this much stuff in my model. So what I can do at this point, of course, is just select it, edit, copy. At that point, I can close the model. And then when I get in this one, I can say edit, paste, and then I can bring that car right in and just put it right into my model. And all I'm putting in then is the content that I need that I've, I've confirmed this is the, is the stuff I want and not all those other things. So that's not to say what's in here isn't perfect, that there's not extra inside here, but this is less than what I was originally looking at, which would have brought in a house and that big box of sky stuff and all that would have come in. So are there any situations where you would grab something off of Warehouse and drop it directly into your model? Sure, absolutely. I'm gonna go back into 3D Warehouse real quick and I'm gonna go back home 
So when you come into 3D Warehouse, you'll be logged in as whoever you're logged into this version of, or this instance of SketchUp as, and you have the option to look at my content. So I'm using a demo uh, account right here, so I don't have any models uploaded, but what I do have is I have some models I've favorited. So these are models that I, I said I like these models. These are models that maybe I've already gone in and I've verified they are what I expect them to be. They're, they're the right size. They don't have extra stuff in here. And I don't have to download these, but I can tag them and I can actually create my own folders or collections to put these into. And I can come and reference them and pull them immediately off of 3 Warehouse. So if I want to put, I want to put Aaron into this model, I can say download. Okay. And then I'm actually dropping from 3D Warehouse directly into the model, but I'm doing it with a model that I know is not going to, uh, you know, clog up or mess up my model at all because I've already verified it is what I expect it to be. So there we go. That is some ways that you could be using 3D Warehouse better potentially than what you're doing right now. I know. I generalized. I assumed you were doing the bad things in 3D Warehouse. They're not bad. They could just be better. You could be better. We could all be better. So just some things to think about. If you do use 3D Warehouse, which you should be, it's a great resource. You should absolutely be using it, but there are some ways you want to make sure you use it. Just be conscious of what you get and just don't ever, unless you know the model pretty well, don't pull it directly into your working model. We see posts on that all the time in the forum where somebody just downloaded some monstrous model into their model and now everything doesn't work because they, you know, downloaded some football field size bowl of fruit or something. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every weekend to be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. Most, if not all, of our content nowadays is being created from comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.